Hey there, Jay Johnson. Welcome back to my channel on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, you can go straight to windowpurchase.com where you can see all my videos in one place and you'll have a list you can follow so that you can just watch the videos you want to see and not waste time on videos you don't need to see. And again, if you want to know my background or history, there's plenty of videos I have up on that channel that explain my criteria, my background, my expertise, whatever you want to label it. Anyway, here's the educational video for you today. It has to do with egress, E-G-R-E-S-S. -S. Now, this is going to vary greatly depending on what country you live in, what part of the country you live in, what state you live in, and what village and or township you live in, and if it's a single family home, or apartments, or condos, or townhomes, and what floor you live on if it is a high-rise building. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you a picture. Instead of showing you a bunch of windows, I'm going to show you a picture. Notice the highlighted area in yellow. So we're going to use this for an example. That is a double hung window. It goes up and down. And it's showing you if you slide that window up as far as it'll go, that yellow is indicating the amount of open area that you have for either ventilation or escaping or somebody trying to come in like a fire department or something like that. And where egress usually applies, if it applies at all, is bedrooms and sometimes basements. It doesn't typically apply to common areas like kitchens and bathrooms and dens and dining rooms and even offices. However, an office can also be a bedroom. If there's a window in a closet in that room, that's usually considered a bedroom regardless of what you're using it for. So when egress does not apply is the common areas that we just mentioned, but also if you live in a building, if you're on the fourth floor or higher, fourth floor or higher, egress typically does not apply. If you're third floor or below, egress may affect you and you may have to put in a certain style or a certain size regulated by the township. Now, if you're in a bedroom, and it has a door leading out, whether it swings or slides, egress no longer matters in that room for what kind of window you put in because you have another way of escape or fire department in, in uh, lieu of entry. So what a lot of these villages push, and again, it depends on the state and the village, is let's say right now you have a casement window in the bedroom that cranks out and it's hinged all the way to the side. That gives you a certain amount of open, vented, escape, entry area. And let's say, well, you don't want casements now. You hate casements. You don't want the crank out windows. You want the up and down windows. Well, if egress applies in your township and in your case, you may not be able to put an up and down window on that opening because when you slide that window up, it's made the clear opening smaller than what you had on the casement that cranked out. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but some villages you go to, that's their rule. It's not the window company's fault. It to go back to your village and complain. And it's the fire departments that push for this or that started all of it. And a lot of it's for safety reasons. So in some townships, they say window must meet egress. And what that typically means is if it's second floor or above, that open area, whether it's cranked out or all the way up, if you measure the narrowest spot and the shortest spot, it's got to meet 5.7 square feet of open area. If it's anything less, it doesn't meet egress. If it's on ground level, it's got to meet 5 square feet, 5.0 square feet. So again, it really depends on where you live and what style of window you have, and what style of window you have versus the one you're replacing it with, especially if it's a different style. The windows that crank out, as long as they're hinged all the way to one side or the other, are always going to give you more of an open area than a double hung that goes up and down. But if that double hung meets a certain width and a certain height standard, which is usually around 36 inches wide and about 62 inches tall, give or take, now you have a window that you're putting in that's going to meet egress, and as long as it meets egress, you can do whatever you want, unless you have an association that says you can't do it. 
If you have an association that's got casements that crank out, and they say, no, you can't go to up and down windows, we don't allow it. Well, that's got nothing to do with egress, that's on your association rules. So again, don't shoot the messenger, but be aware that there is different rules for egress all across the country, and you may not be able to switch to a style of window that you want unless the company you're hiring can actually create a larger opening to put a larger window in there than what you currently have. Anyway, I hope that helps. My name is Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. Thank you so much for tuning in.